August 24, 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius in the Roman Empire, known as Italy, erupts and is one of the worst volcanic eruptions in the history of Europe in particular and the whole world. Mount Vesuvius is classified as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Its volcanic eruptions are of mixed volcanism or stratovolcano type. Since the central horn of this volcano emerges in a crater, it belongs to the Sama type of volcano. It is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world and has a cone about 1,281 meters high. This cone is known as the Great Cone. It is surrounded by the edge of the crater crest of Monte Sama. This mountain has an elevation of 1,132 meters. Mount Vesuvius and Sama are separated by the Atrio di Cavallo Valley. Depending on the volcanic eruptions taking place, the height of the cones has varied throughout history. At the top of these volcanoes is a crater more than 300 meters deep. Vesuvius is the only active volcano in mainland Europe and the largest active volcano in the Apennine Peninsula. This is the result of the collision between the Asian and African plates. But in AD 79, it had a powerful eruption. We know exactly that, thanks to the letter that Pliny the Younger, a judge in ancient Rome sent to the historian Tacitus living at the same time. Younger described Mount Vesuvius spewing a cloud filled with volcanic debris and superheated volcanic gas to an altitude of 33 kilometers, spewing lava, powdered pumice, and hot ash at a mass of 1.5 million tons each second, released an amount of heat equivalent to 100,000 times the atomic bomb dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima at the end of World War II. The terrible tragedy caused widespread destruction around the Bay of Naples, and especially in the ancient citadel of Pompeii and the neighboring Heraculaneum. The eruption buried a 19 kilometers wide area in volcanic lava in just a few hours. The flow of molten lava and gas from the volcano into Herculaneum is believed to have a speed of at least 80 kilometers per hour. Pompeii and Herculaneum flourished near the foot of Mount Vesuvius in the Gulf of Naples. In the early days of the Roman Empire, there were about 20,000 people living in Pompeii, including merchants, manufacturers and farmers, who worked together to exploit the fertile land with numerous vineyards and fruit trees. No one expected that the fertile soil was the legacy of Vesuvius' previous eruptions. Herculaneum was a city of 5,000 inhabitants and a favorite summer destination for wealthy Romans. Named after the legendary hero Hercules, the Herculaneum features luxurious villas and the famous large Roman baths. Gambling-related artifacts have been found in Herculaneum and a brothel unearthed in Pompeii has revealed debauchery here. At noon on August 24, 79, all pleasures and prosperity came to an end when Vesuvius Mount erupted, sending a mushroom-shaped cloud of ash and pumice 10 miles wide into the stratosphere. Over the next 12 hours, volcanic ash and a flurry of pumice up to 3 inches in diameter poured down on Pompeii. Most victims died instantly as the superheated air burned their lungs and contracted their muscles, leaving the bodies in a semi-curled position to be quickly buried in ash, 
Only about 2,000 residents survived the first explosion. A westerly wind protected Herculaneum from the initial stage of the eruption, but then a huge cloud of ash and hot gas swept down the western slopes of Vesuvius, engulfing the city, burning or suffocating them all. This deadly cloud was followed by a flood of volcanic mud and hot rock, burying Herculaneum. Pompeii survivors were also killed on the morning of August 25th when a cloud of poisonous gas swept over the city, suffocating all survivors. The stream of rocks and ashes that followed collapsed roofs and walls, burying the dead. Pliny the Elder described the massive debris cloud. It resembled a Mediterranean pine more than any other tree. Like a very high tree the cloud went high and expanded in different branches, sometimes white, sometimes dark and stained by the sustained sand and ashes. In Pompeii, ash blocked the sun by 1 p.m. and the people tried to clear heavy ash from rooftops as it fell at a rate of about 6 inches an hour. According to the Pliny the Younger story, the eruption lasted 18 hours. Pompeii was buried under 4.2, 5.2 m thick layers of ash and pumice, and the nearby coastline was completely altered. Herculaneum is buried under more than 18.3 m of mud and volcanic material. Some of Pompeii's inhabitants later returned to dig up destroyed houses for valuables, but many of the treasures were left behind and then forgotten. When a volcano like Vesuvius erupts, some scientists think its dense cloud of toxic gas and ash will spill over into nearby cities and kill the vast majority of victims. But a 2001 study published in the journal Nature revealed an even more dire scenario. In it, the volcanic debris poured into the city in the form of a glowing vapor that could kill the inhabitants here in less than one second. Unlike dense lava, crumbs move at high speeds and the heat cage it generates can reach more than 300 degrees Celsius, enough to burn almost anything in its path. In 1763, John Winkman, German, served as the general overseer of the artifacts in Rome and the surrounding area. In this position, John Winkman visited Vesuvius and Herculaneum. He highly valued the artifacts found in the ancient city of Pompeii. He also took the effort to correct the order of lost documents, sketching the historical shape of Pompeii. In 1808-1815, a French scholar directed the excavation of the dead city of Pompeii. But it was not until 1860 that people began to conduct systematic excavations. In 1890, archaeologist Eusebi Fiorulli officially put the excavation work into operation. He has researched a new excavation technique that helps the buried dead, animals, household utensils and wooden structures all be restored to their original appearance. Visitors can see hundreds of postures of the victim before death. It was a horrible tragedy. In the lavish mansion, the room was being repaired when both the owner and the carpenters in distress hiding in the corridor were killed. Another mansion in the suburbs, the owner and 20 slaves in the accident died together while hiding in the underground bunker. In addition, a 2018 study by Patron unearthed about 100 human skeletons in houseboats along the coast of Herculaneum and he discovered all that was left from the volcanic disaster, when the people here did not have time to evacuate from the hot volcanic debris. The proof that the skeletons were tinged with a red and black color, 
could not have come from coins or other metal artifacts. The results of the spectroscopic analysis showed that it was a high concentration of iron residue, possibly their blood being burned. In addition, the bones fracture, a phenomenon that occurs when they are exposed to heat. Similarly, skulls were also cracked, and there were even victim skulls that exploded, a dire reality that can only happen when the victim's body is submerged under an extremely hot temperature of lava. Based on this evidence, the scientists concluded that the volcanic debris flow boiled away the soft brain tissue, evaporating the body fluids of the ill-fated victims so much that their skulls exploded terribly. As it turned out, it wasn't the ash but the extreme heat from the lava flow that killed most of the victims in an eruption nearly 2,000 years ago. Up to now, the ancient citadel of Pompeii has only three-fifths of the area excavated. Like Herculaneum, there are still many victims and tools buried deep under the rubble in the ground. But the ancient splendor of Pompeii is also displayed quite clearly. Pompeii Citadel has an area of 1.8 square kilometers. The wall is built of stone, the wall is 4.8 kilometers long and has 7 gates with 14 monumental towers. 4. Large stone streets cut horizontally and vertically to form 9 areas. In each area, there are large and small streets connecting, and in the big streets, there are still very deep traces of iron cars on the road surface like a horse-drawn carriage has just passed. At the intersection of major streets, there are stone water machines nearly 1 m high and about 2 m long to supply water to people. The water trough connected to the water tower is led from the water source of a high mountain outside the city by a hanging machine built of stone. These water towers then distribute water to public gutters at intersections. Fountains and fish ponds of aristocratic families and rich merchants also rely on this water supply system. Pompeii also built two theaters. The largest theater located in the southeast of the city was built in 70 BC with a capacity of 20,000 people. This theater is also used as a wrestling arena between humans and animals. On the east side of the theater there is a sports field, each corner is about 1.30 m long. This sports field is very pompous and magnificent, with a swimming pool placed in the middle. It is predicted that the courtyard can accommodate more than a thousand people and also here often take place the economic, political, and religious activities of the whole city of Pompeii. There are at least three public baths, including hot and cold bath, sauna and makeup room. The walls of those bathrooms are decorated with frescoes and stone sculptures. The ruins of Pompeii fully reflect the moral decay of ancient Roman society. At that time, there was a part of people who indulged in alcohol with a depraved, lavish lifestyle. No wonder there are many brothels and taverns in the city of Pompeii. The walls of the brothels were painted with lewd scenes. After archaeological excavations revealed much about the life of the ancient Roman inhabitants, Pompeii has become a tourist attraction, preserving precious documents and the entire appearance of social life in ancient Rome. It also has been inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List since 1997. Today, Vesuvius is the only active volcano on the European continent. Its last eruption was in 1944, and its last major eruption was in 1631. What do you think of this information? 
Do you think Pompeii and Vesuvius Mount hide many mysterious secrets that we have not unraveled? Please share your opinion with us in the comments section. Thank you for watching today's video. If you find this video interesting, please click the like button and subscribe to Ask K-Pop Entertainment. Goodbye and see you in the next video.